the hat man. What's up, homies? I'm back. Now, what do we have here? Oh, hey. It's the console that my child self destroyed his eyesight with. That's right. It's the Nintendo Game Boy Advance, Nintendo's great successor to the original 1989 Game Boy and the 1998 Game Boy Color. It's a wonderful little system that I get a kick out of playing even to this day. And this one is still the only football-shaped thing that I can understand. <laughs> what the f*** is this? There are a lot of fun games here that you just can't play anywhere else. Games such as Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, Mother 3, Rayman Hoodlum's Revenge, and hey, oh, look, I haven't played this one before. Oh, that's how you do it. Fatality. On second thought, I guess you can play these GBA games on the Nintendo DS and DS Lite as well. If you don't already have a GBA, then getting a DS or a DS Lite shouldn't be too costly these days. Heck, the, re the regular GBA is attainable for decent prices too. But if you're like me and you lose things constantly, then collecting and keeping track of cartridges is probably not desirable. That being said, wouldn't it be nice to play these games somewhere else? Well, luckily there's a bunch on the Wii U. I meant to say, luckily the Switch has GBA games to play. Damn it. Alright then. If you really don't want to use the GBA or DS and are willing to suffer the pain of collecting cartridges, then at least there's the Game Boy Player for the GameCube. The lowest price for getting a GameCube and the Game Boy Player adapter and the startup disc is easily over $160. And you still don't get the cables and you don't know if any of it will work. And the startup disc is extremely rare in English. Double damn it! Jesus Christ! Then that just leaves the seven C's and... EMULATION! But, who would go that far? Am I right, guys? <laughs> Alright, I know there's at least one of you out there who is saying out loud, Um, technically, the 3DS also has GBA games, as well as older Game Boy games. Well, dear viewer, you seem to have forgotten a couple things. Number one, only a limited number of people got to have just a measly 10 GBA games. And number two, the eShop is dead, so there is no more obtaining the other Game Boy games. It is tragic on both accounts. I could just Qualcomm. punch Nintendo for not releasing GBA games on the eShop like they did with Wii U. It's ridiculous. So then, officially, the GBA games are largely stuck on their home native console. Sure, most of the methods I just dismissed are still technically viable in some shape or form, but you're either limited to a given selection, or you'll enter financial ruin because buying every GBA game you ever wanted will inevitably lead you to trying to secure a copy of Mother 3 and you will never recover from that purchase. Trust me, that's why I'm making this video. I am trapped. Send help! I don't know where I am! <clears throat> Sorry about that. Where was I? Oh yeah, playing GBA games on not the GBA. Well, since we've exhausted all official means of playing GBA games and denounced them like a pastor denounces sex, I guess we could sell the 7Cs and emulate on a PC and 
Oh my god, I guess that answers the question of who would go that far, and it's us. Well, since we're already here, why not take it up a notch? Let's emulate, but portably. Remember how there were only ever just 10 GBA games on the Nintendo 3DS, and only for a select few people? Well, I think it's time that we rectify this issue and blast our GBA games up the butt of the Nintendo 3DS. Alright, that didn't work. Let's try Plan B. Plan B. And that's making our own virtual console GBA titles. Alright gang. So what you want to do is follow the links in the description and download the program called New Super Ultimate Injector. I've given you a choice of three different versions as some features may not work correctly on the latest version but will work on older versions. But that stuff is all features we're not talking about today. I just wanted to give you the option since this might be where you go down the rabbit hole and explore all the features of this new program. For our purposes, just use the latest one. Moving along, in the program itself, you're gonna want to head to that sweet navigation bar and press File. Then, hover over New and select Game Boy Advance. That will bring you to this sexy screen where you get to customize your virtual console file. I'll demonstrate for you guys. Alright, what game do I want? Let's, let's do one I already have done, because I don't want to have to go find another, another image. Let's do Spy Kids 3D Game Over. This is a kind of a mediocre game, but uh, yeah, I do have the image for this one. Looks like I don't have Spy Kids. I Lamau. Once that loads in, it'll automatically put the box art over here, but you can just click Load Image from File and then pick a screenshot or any image you want. I usually, to follow suit with um, the other virtual console icons and banners, you pick the box art and then a screenshot from the start menu. Not responding, but it is responding. And then you can choose fit by height or fit by width. For the icon, you're gonna want to fit by height and over here fit by width. That way it, it all fits good. So you can change the long name, the short name. You can read the flavor text here. It'll tell you exactly what that's about. You can change that in game publisher. Injection method. We'll get to that, to that in a second. That's important. See a banner. So you can, you can change to this. This is what the official 10 GBA games look like. But with this program, it brings it in line with the other virtual console consoles which have the console itself in a 3D model, which is great. And uh, you can customize that, so you can change the color of that Game Boy. So Banjo-Kazooie, I kind of think of yellow because honeycombs and stuff. So let's make a, a yellow Game Boy. It's a little muddy. Let's see if we can't brighten that up. That's eh, fine. And then for the um, cartridge, you can change that too. Let's make that blue. All right, so that's customized. And then down here, you can change what it says, as well as the uh, release year. You can change all this to whatever you want. It doesn't affect anything, it's just text. And that means you can change brightness if you want. Select font. Let's, uh, let's pick a silly font. Let's do Broadway. That looks dope. And you can select a font for down here too, but I'm not gonna do that. You could also choose an image if you want, but I, I don't recommend it. So you can change that font. And then um, that's all the, the basics. Now is where it gets very slightly more advanced. You can apply an IPS patch for something like um, Pokemon Unbound. And you can change this, but I don't recommend it. Injection method. Let's uh, let's click on that. 
So you have GBA Virtual Console, that's the built-in Virtual Console emulator. And then there's also RetroArch MGBA Forwarder and then RetroArch GBSP Forwarder. I don't know what the third one is, but this second one is pretty good too. The difference is this will have the RetroArch or RetroArch, however you want to say it. It'll have its menu options. So why choose between the two? Wouldn't the official one be good to go? Not always. So I learned with Banjo-Kazooie, it does not work with GBA Virtual Console. It only works with RetroArch or RetroArch MGBA Forwarder. So that's what I'm gonna choose. And then after you have your method chosen, you can select injection method options. And it gives you some options here. So you can do pixel perfect, recommended, and then stretch full screen, which is disgusting. You just go recommended. So on the bottom screen, you know, it's RetroArch, so it doesn't have the, the secondary screen's image by default. So you can add one, so you can get to the menu, and it kind of looks more official. Oh, there's a rewind feature. Enabling this feature could make game unplayable on old 3 d system. I don't know if this will work on every ROM, so I'm just going to leave it unchecked. And then you can edit your button layout, which I don't recommend because it's Game Boy. It's perfect as is. And then core specific options. I'll just click through them so you can look at them. I don't really know about reasons to change them, but there's options. Oh, oh, okay. That's interesting. So there is the very one video game from Hideo Kojima that uses a, a solar light sensor and you can just fake it with the MGBA op core option. All right, that's cool, that's cool. Sorry, I'm getting off track. Everything's set. And now all we gotta do is click on this little factory icon and export to see ya. You can also click on options over here, but you can explore that on your own time. It doesn't affect this tutorial. Yeah, um, nerd stuff, doom and whatnot. <laughs> so I'll just throw it in downloads. I'll make it um, R A B C, Retro Arc, Virtual Console, save. And then it'll look like it's not doing anything, but it is. So just chill. Wait for a little ding dong. There it is. And uh, you're good to go. All right, so I'm gonna switch programs and we're gonna install this on Citra and I'll show you that it works. Never mind. I think Cit I think these virtual console games don't work on Citra. Okay, I'm gonna switch to my camera and then we will look at my 3DS, I guess. Jesus. All right. Here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and go to FBI and install this bad boy. Alright. That's that. Come on, show up. Show up! There you are. Merry Christmas. There it is. All right, let's play it. Bada bing, bada boom, it works, boy. Yep, oh, sorry. Perfect. And then down here, click on that, and it brings up the uh, RetroArch menu. Pretty cool, yep, pretty cool. Well, there you have it, guys. That, ow, shit. Fung flew right out of the holder. Well, there you have it, guys. A new way, well, new, a new way to play your GBA games. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. I tell you what, I had fun. And yeah, in that earlier bit with the football, football, my knee was bleeding for realsies. Oh, the things I do for you guys. Oh, you guys. So, let me know what you guys think about this program and whatnot in the comments below. And uh, here is a detail about the program that I want to mention. So, currently the new Super Ultimate Injector program, the project is not currently being maintained. The uh, ability to inject PS1 games is uh, kind of bad. It uses 
from what I remember, an older version of the PSX emulator or, or whatever. So it's hit or miss pretty heavily with the PS1 games. But this video isn't about that. I just wanted to bring it up because there is a lot of features that you're going to be like, Ooh, I can inject all these games. There are some caveats. But when it comes to GBA games, you're pretty golden. That aside, I um, have nothing else. So I uh, ask that you like and subscribe and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.